Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another segment of People and Places. I'm the publisher of The Vegas Voice, Dan Roberts, and I am very lucky to highlight and introduce all the wonderful people who make Las Vegas so one so great, really. And I have a very special person, and uh, I am very, very lucky to have with me today Miss Liz Palmer, who is the new Miss Nevada Senior America. That's right. I am the new Miss Nevada Senior America 2022. Thank you, Dan. Uh, listen, congratulations. And, and I want to add that not only is Liz Miss Nevada Senior America, mm -hmm. but she is also a columnist for The Vegas Voice, and she's been writing for us for a couple of years. But before we go into that, let's talk about congratulations, not your Thank crown. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. What's involved? How did you get it? Et cetera, et cetera. Talk a little bit about oh, that. Thank you. Well, I was crowned Ms. Nevada Senior America just a, a couple months ago, and uh, I will be representing Nevada in the Senior America pageant, which will be September 5th through 9th in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The Senior America pageant is America's primary pageant that brings honor and recognition to women over the age of 60. And that is considered the age of the elegance. The age of elegance, yeah. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you prepare for something like that? I, I know you have to submit an uh, application. Mm -hmm. What's it involved? How, you, how do other people, other women now, want to get yeah. involved with you? Well, of course, they can go to the website, uh, senior, Ms. Senior America LLC, but the areas of competition uh, for the Senior America pageant are um, talent. You have to have a two minute, 45 second talent. Uh, judges interview. It's a panel interview with uh, between five and seven judges, I believe, uh, on stage modeling of your gown and a philosophy of life, which is uh, a statement of your beliefs and how you live your life. And that has to be done in 35 seconds. And that's pretty hard Con to condense everything that you think you want to convey to uh, a stage audience in 35 seconds. Yeah, that takes some doing. How do you do it? Are you, are you prepared? What, what is your philosophy that you want to take as Miss Senior Nevada? I'm still working on it. You're still working on it, huh? Yeah. But, but uh, you know, one thing I, I do like to convey is that I'm also a volunteer coach for Special Olympics Nevada. And I have learned so much from my athletes, and much of it is about supporting other people. Um, to always be a cheerleader for others, to be a supporter, and then someday they will return the favor to you. As I say, when you reach your goals, you'll find that you are not the only one who's clapping. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's so very that, nice. That'll be part of it. Yeah, I, I, I know that you have a history with dealing with pageants and uh -huh. everything else. Talk a little bit about that. I, I find that really uh -huh. fascinating, Liz. Well, I was actually involved in pageantry in the Miss America system when I was in my 20s, and I used pageants as a vehicle to overcome shyness. I was a very, very shy child, and as a young adult, I knew that the shyness would not serve me well in the future, and mm -hmm. I looked for something to help me break out of it. And pageants were it for me. And I had a great deal of success in them once I got over my, you know, fright, frightened state and, and learned how to actually speak to people. I learned social awareness um, and, and, you know, stage skills, walking, speaking. Um, I used to play the piano professionally, so I really? do have a very strong talent. And I was a runner up at the state level twice. I never won a state title, mm -hmm. but I was a runner up twice and I got a lot of scholarship money. No, that's great. I mean, it shows you how it could really be useful in yes. later life. Well, the thing that pageants have really helped me with is that as I started my corporate career, I had to interview for jobs. I was great at interviewing. Yeah. Yeah. Because of pageantry. You know, if I if you can face down a panel of pageant judges, a job interview is a piece of cake. And when, when you did the pageant interview, are you nervous or are you calm? Are you... How would, how I, am, I am not nervous at all because I view it as an opportunity for the judges to get to know me better, you know, and it's an opportunity for me to sell myself and tell them why I would be the candidate that they are looking for. You know, and there must be a lot of time rehearsing because, again, as you mentioned, you're going to be at Hershey, Pennsylvania mm -hmm. in September for the national. Yeah. I mean, that, it's very exciting. How do you prepare for something like that? Well, or do you? Oh, I do. You do, yeah? <laughs> I practice my talent. I want to make sure that it's it's perfect. It's a piano piece, a classical piano solo. It has to be under three minutes. And, you know, you want to play it just, you, you want to be able to play it uh, without thought because you will have nerves. So I practice and practice and practice that. I also practice walking in heels. Yeah. And, and this opportunity right now, speaking with you and to our audience, is fantastic yeah. experience for 
speaking with judges. Well, I don't know about uh-huh. us as judges, though, yeah, but but you know what? I mean, I've known you for a number of years mm-hmm, mm-hmm. before the pageant when you were involved with the Nevada Senior mm-hmm. Games. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. What's your title? What do you do? What do you look to promote just with that? Because oh. you've got to be extremely busy. I am a busy person, but I love being busy. Um, I am the executive director for the Nevada Senior Games. I was named their executive director in 2019. I uh, have an athletic background in high school and college. I uh, ran track. I was a hurdler. And um, health and wellness have always been big parts of my life. And the older I get, the more important a strong and healthy body is for me because it adds to our quality of life as seniors. So the Nevada Senior Games is an opportunity for me to spread that message to seniors in our community. Yeah. And again, Liz has been writing her column, like I said, for a number Uh of years. Uh And you know what? Between the pageant and, and (laughs) and the senior games, you must have a very busy life. How do, you, how do you cope with it? I mean, how do you cope with it when a lot of seniors, and you're far from a senior, but a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people are just trying to relax and take things easy. Is it, is it considered work or do, is that part of no, your enjoyment? It's, it's, it's what I love to do. And I am a senior. senior. I'm 61 years old. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, very. <laughs> and, and between the games, and again, the games were canceled, I think, with COVID? In 2020, yeah. And what do they have planned for that going forward? Well, in 2021, we had our games. We have over 20 different team and individual sports. And in 2021, we weren't really sure what to expect. We didn't know if people were going to be hanging back or whether right. they were anxious to get back into um, the sports world. And we had tremendous, tremendous response. Our, our registration was far more than we anticipated. Really? So we anticipate a really good 2022. And we're adding a new sport. Which is? Cornhole. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's so popular. Yeah, it is, area. very much yeah, so. So that will be our new sport. Yep. You know, in the, in the minute or so that we have left, what would you like seniors to know about you? About me. About <laughs> you, whether it's through the Nevada Senior Games, Special Olympics, mm. the pageant. What What do you want them to well, know? You know, you did mention how busy I am, and I am busy. Yeah. I moved to Las Vegas. My husband and I moved here in late 2016, and we have been residents for over five years. And when we moved here, I retired from my job. And my husband said, so what are you going to do with all of your new time? And I said, I want to make new friends. And I want to become more involved in my community. And it's been such a joy. So I would tell anyone who's looking for a little more connection in their life. So social connections are so valuable for seniors. Volunteer. Step out of your shell and give of yourself to other people. You'll find that it is incredibly rewarding. Yeah, you know, and if people want more information about the Nevada Senior Games, Mm -hmm. about the uh, Senior Nevada, Uh how do they go about getting it? Well, the Nevada Senior Games website is www.nevadaseniorgames.com. And if you are interested in the Nevada pageant or learning about the national pageant, MsSeniorAmericaLLC.com. There you go. Mm-hmm. I thank you so much for being here. Uh, we hope all the best for you. Thank so you. when you hit, when you know, go to Hershey and just knock them dead and just I, do I it. I plan on doing, doing that. Yeah. And then we'll have you back on. And again, if people want more information, again, Liz has a column every month in the Vegas Voice, and we hope you continue. Of I course. will. There you yeah. go. You have time for us. I do. There you go. <laughs> so we're all set. So this is Dan Roberts for People and Places, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. No, no, I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one in the magazine. I'm Bill Caserta, Executive Director of The Vegas Voice. I hope you enjoyed the last segment. And everyone at The Vegas Voice wants to continue to provide you with the latest information and more great segments. Starting with that handsome guy on page six, moi. But you need to help, and the best part, it's totally free. You see that subscribe button? Just hit it on the bottom of the screen and you will be helping us out as far as getting to more readers. Take it from Dr. Bill. You'll be glad you did. The Vegas Voice for your health, wealth, and good times. Oh, may I add, no prescription is needed.